The top 200 drugs are extremely difficult to memorize. However, remembering them is going to be a lot easier with my tips. First, we have to break them down to eight categories. The first one is the GI tract. Next, muscle skeletal, respiratory, immune, neuro, cardiology, endocrine, and the renal and reproductive. So we're going to break it down to eight categories. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Let's get started with the first one. So I'm going to show you an easy way to remember them with my memory aids. And I'm going to say a story with it. So the story is actually going to help you. It's going to be dumb stories, but again, I guarantee it, you will remember these. So the first category is the gastrointestinal, the GI. And the first subcategory we have in this is antacids. So it's basically anti-acid without the I. So there's this big old guy. His name is Cal. He's a like really, really overweight. He's eat a lot of carbs, a lot of carbs. So his name is Cal. His last name is Siam. It's a lot of carbs. Calcium carbonate. Calcium carbonate. Now every time this guy walks, since he's so big, he makes a tum sound. So with every step, it's tum, 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 tum. So again, calcium carbonate tums and he has this anti-acid sign he is antacid now he met his wife at one of these rallies these anti-acid rallies her name is magni not maggie but magni she took his last name they got married it's not spelled the same it's just for demonstration purposes but now magni she married calcium her name is now magnesium magnesium hydroxide magnesium hydroxide is also known as milk of mag or milk of magnesia now magnesia hydroxide is an antacid but it can also be used for constipation and this is one of the real big ones everybody uses milk of mag for constipation the next subcategory h2 blockers and these have a ending in tadine so whenever you see tadine you know it's a h2 blocker two the histamine two causes the formation of acid so blocking this acid now the following drugs actually block the production of histamine two which produces acid so the first tadine is these two guys right here now these are big football players and they have the tattoo on their forearms, Tadeen. Again, they're blockers, H2 blockers, acid. The first one, Cymetadeen, also known as Tagament. So just picture these big old football players. And the first guy's name is Cy, so Cymetadeen. And he doesn't just tag people to get the football. He tackles them. So Tagament, Cymetadeen, Tagament. The next guy, his name is Mo, Famo. Tadine, also known as Pepsid. Famotadine, also known as Pepsid. And again, these are H2 blockers. So you have Cymetadine, Tagament, and again, use visualization and also Mo, Famotadine, which is also known as Pepsid. So let's see if you're remembering these. Anti acid rally, a big old fat guy, eats a lot of carbs. And say this out loud too. What's his name? Cal. Calcium carbonate. But eats a bunch of bunch of carbs. What sound does he make when he walks? Tums. Who did he marry? Magnesium hydroxide, also known as milk of mag. Now, milk of mag is an, an acid, but what could it also be used for? Constipation. The next one was H2 blockers, also known as Tadine. And there's two guys, Cymetadine and famotadine cymetadine is tagament again he doesn't just tag these people he tackles them cymetadine tagament famotadine also known as pepsid and both of these guys are h2 blockers so hopefully you're visualizing this and looking at the picture of course you know taking your notes and i guarantee it again this is dumb but you will remember i guarantee it next subcategory prozol prozol these are proton pump inhibitors, PPI. Now with the proton pump inhibitors, what they do, they block the pump that induces protons into the stomach. And by doing this, it makes it less acidic. So proton pump inhibitors end in prozole. Okay, so now the next little story is gonna be these cute little girls. They wanna go to the pool. They're actually at the pool. They wanna get in the water. However, if the proton pumps go into the water, so just imagine these big old pumps trying to go into the water. Well, if they go in, they're not gonna have 
any room for anybody to swim. So each of these girls are inhibiting these proton pumps from going into the pool. So the first one starts with an E and you use the color emerald. So the first girl is called S-O-MEP. Prozol, S O M E P R O Z O L. Again, ending in Prozol, also known as Nexium. So you can just kind of see her waving people by, you know, next, next, next. She sees the proton pumps. She inhibits them from going into the pool. So again, visualize the color with the E, emerald. So green bathing suit, green hair, green eyes, and Meprazol, Nexium. The next girl starts with an O, O Meprazol. Now these two of course are sisters, you know, not too very unique in the, the names. You have S-O-Meprazole, and then now the one in the orange, the letter O, O-Meprazole. Again, ending in Prazole, also known as Prilosec, Prilosec. And again, these are proton pump inhibitors, so they're going to reduce the amount of protons. So again, visualize the orange hair, and she's blocking these proton pumps from coming into the pool. The next one starts with a P, pantoprazole. Now, the one with the P, again, the visualization, her hair. Her hair is pink, bathing suit is pink, and pantoprazole is also blocking the proton pumps from going into the pool. So again, proton pump inhibitors end in prazole. And the proton pump inhibitor, it blocks the pump that induces protons into the stomach therefore making it less acidic. So proton pump inhibitors, remember there's three little girls, one with an E for an emerald color, one with an O for orange color, and one with a P for pink color. S-O-Meprazole, also known as Nexium. Remember she's saying everybody, next, next, next. The next one is Omeprazole, also known as Prilosec. And then finally, Pantoprazole, also known as Protonix. Here you're actually gonna remember it because again, this story is really dumb. And a lot of people remember a lot of dumb stuff. And this again is dumb, I guarantee that you will remember this. Okay, the next subcategory is for nausea, diarrhea, and constipation. So these are going to be an anti-nausea meds, also known as anti-emetics. So here's this guy Dan. The way I always remember it is Dan's always throwing up and he throws up sometimes on himself. So on Dan Citron, you know, throwing up on himself, on Dan Citron, also known as Zofran. So again, just picture this guy walking around holding his mouth and you know, he's he's gonna throw up and his name is Dan. On Dan Citron, also known as Zofran. Next one is Promethazine. Promethazine, also known as Finergan. Finergan. Now this one you can remember it, Promethazine, Prometh, Promise. Prometh, promise. So you have this Boy Scout. He's promising, Prometh, Azim. So he's promising to not throw up. You know, he wants to go on the boating trip, the little canoe. And they're, no, you know, you're going to throw up, you're going to throw up. And he's promising, Promethazine, that he will not throw up. Also known as Finn or again. You know, he's done it before. He's going to do it again. But he's promising, Promethazine, Finn or again. Antiemetics. Next subcategory, we have anti diarrheals. So you have this guy, Sal. He's always late. He's always late because he has. He's always suffering from diarrhea. So he takes bismuth sub sal is a late. So sal is always late. He's always having diarrhea. He's always in the restroom, and there's a board meeting, and he's running late. So here's his boss, and he's looking at the time, and he's mad. He's like, Sal, you're late. Sal, you're late. And you know the boss asks, you know, what's why are you always late? Why? And it's like, you know what? It's really none of your business or business. It's really none of your business. I have personal stuff. Bismuth, business. Sal is always late. Sub, sal, salate. Sub, sal is a late. Also known as Pepto Bismol. Now you can see him here. He's got a briefcase. And in that briefcase is no work. There's no folders. There's no documents. There's no work. It's filled with Pepto Bismol. Bismuth, mind your own business. Bismuth, sub sal is a late. Sub sal is a late. Also known as Pepto Bismol. The next anti diarrheal. So you have this guy, he's kind of a hippie kind of guy. He has a tie dye shirt. Just imagine this tie dye shirt guy. And same thing, he's got uh, diarrhea. This one is an anti diarrheal. So this guy wearing a tie dye shirt, his name's Finn. Tie dye shirt. The drug name is Diphen oxalate. So again, this guy is late all the time too. 
diphenoxylate at row peen. So he's in the restroom and he's not actually peeing, he's actually pooping. So at row peen. So again, you got this hippie guy, got a tie dye shirt, tie dye. The drug is diphenoxylate because he's always running late and he's not peeing, he's not at row peen. He's actually using the restroom number two, having a BM at Ropin, also known as low motil, low motil. So you can just think of low motil as slowing down the motility of a BM. So instead of it going super fast because he's got diarrhea, it's slowing it down and he's able to do stuff. Diphenoxylate at ropin, also known as low motil, low motil. The next antidiarrheal is low per amide low per amide now this guy he's a really short guy um he's about i don't know three feet three feet two inches really low to the ground and he has a problem when he has to go to the restroom number two have a bm when he has diarrhea because he's so low to the ground he's got a little step so that he has to go and sit on the toilet low per amide also known as emo DM, emodium. So again, hopefully all these visuals are helping you out. Let's do a little recap. So for anti-nausea, anti-emetics, you want to stop them from throwing up. So again, Dan, you know, he's, he's going to throw up on himself, on Dancitron, also known as Zofran. Next, you're going to promise not to throw up. So this Boy Scout is promising he wants to go in the canoe. He's promising Promethazine, also known as Finergan, is not going to throw up again. Finergan. Next, we have the antidiarrheals. It's none of your business. Bismuth, sow is always late. Bismuth, sub sow is a late. Bismuth, sub sow is a late. And what does he have in his briefcase? Pepto bismol. The next one is this hippie guy. Antidiarrheal. He's always having diarrhea. This hippie guy wearing this tie dye shirt. Diphenoxylate. Again, he's always late. Diphenoxylate. Atropine. Atropine. Also known as Lomotil. Lomotil. Now, Lomotil, again, it slows the motility of the diarrhea. All right, and the last one for this antidiarrheals is this really short guy, about three feet, three feet, two inches. He's low to the ground. It takes him a long time to get to the toilet. You know, antidiarrheal, you know, he's got a little step stool. Low per amide. Low per amide, also known as emodium. Emodium. So, emodium. It immobilizes the bowel's mode of transport. So it slows it down. Now he has time to actually step on the stool to go and sit on the toilet. Low per amide, also known as emo DM. All right, I hope you're doing good. I hope this is helping out. If it is, again, please don't forget to like, comment, and if you're finding any value in this, please consider subscribing. I have a lot more coming up. So let's go ahead and continue. Next subcategory is constipation. These are osmotic. So here you have this parrot. His owner, her name is Gly. Now Gly, as you can see here, is a really old lady and she's always feeding him crackers. No fiber, only crackers. So this poor parrot is constipated. No fiber in his diet, nothing but carbs. He needs to use the restroom, but he can't. She always asks him, Polly want a cracker? Polly want a cracker? Polyethylene, that's the parrot, polyethylene doesn't want a cracker. He wants Gly to call a veterinarian because he is so backed up. He has all this constipation. Polyethylene wants Gly to call for help. Polyethylene glycol, also known as Miralax. Next, we have a stool softener. So here's this guy. His name is Sate. He's always going to the restroom. Now, it's not diarrhea or anything like that. It's really soft. You know, it's a stool softener. Sate is always going to the restroom. So one day, his boss, he's fed up. He's, he's had enough of this. I mean, he's going to the restroom a lot. So they're going to dock his pay, you know, for wasting time. So the boss comes up to Sate and he says, I'm going to have to dock you, Sate. You're going to the restroom way too much. So the stool softener is docusate sodium, also known as colace. Now, when you take colace, you do not have to race to the restroom because it's a stool softener. It just helps you go. You know, you're not having to force it. You're not having to push. You're, it's helping you. So again, Sate's coming out of the restroom. The boss comes up to him and he tells him, I'm going to have to docusate sodium. Stool softener, docusate sodium, also known as colace. The next one is for 
ulcerative colitis. Now, since it is having to do with the GI tract, this is the very end, of course, you have this really mean bully, and he's always making fun of people, and he actually kicks him. He kicks him in the butt. So again, colon, butt. Now, you have this bully. His name's Sal, and he's mean. Meh, Sal, a mean. Meh, Sal, a mean, also known as as a call, as a call. So for ulcerative colitis, you got this bully, always kicking people in the butt, in the colon, and his name is Sal, and he's mean. Meh, Sal, a mean, also known as, as a call. Okay, so let's do a recap. Constipation, the osmotic one, you have this parrot. It's a polyethylene. It's this old lady, and her name is Gly, and he's begging her to call the veterinarian. Polyethylene glycol, also known as Miralax. So Miralax, it relaxes your bowels, so it's easier to go. The next one is a stool softener for constipation. And again, Sate is always in the restroom. His boss comes up to him and what does he say? I'm gonna have to docusate. So it's docusate sodium, also known as colase. Now again, you don't have to race to the restroom. It just helps you go. And for the autoimmune disorder, ulcerative colitis, bully, his name is Sal, he's really mean. The drug name is called Mesal. Amin, me sal amin, also known as as a call, as a call. I'm gonna have only the pictures. If you could watch based on only the pictures, say what drug it is for what subcategory, and let's put my guarantee to the test. If you're finding any value in this, please consider subscribing.